Asteroid impacts on Earth have repeatedly damaged its surface, leaving enormous craters in their wake. These are known as impact events, and they occur when asteroids from space penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and crash into the Earth's surface. Around 500 new asteroids are discovered annually, with approximately 10,000 of the 25,000 asteroids measuring 460 feet or more. NASA has revealed that a massive object is approaching the Earth, and its collision might release enough energy to detonate a nuclear weapon. What does this mean to human existence? Are our lives being threatened by this asteroid? Stay tuned as we update you on one of the most shocking discoveries. According to experts, around 60 asteroids or comparable objects 3 miles or greater in size have struck the Earth in the last 600 million years. Three land impact events have been identified as the cause of the planet's catastrophic extinction. The first was the gigantic 118.061 mile radius Redfort Crater in Free State, South Africa, which struck 2 billion years ago. The Sudbury Basin in Ontario, Canada, which had an 80.7783 mile radius, was formed 1.8 billion years ago. We also have the Ackerman Crater in South Australia, which has a radius of 55.9234 miles and was created by a 580 million year impact and many more. NASA has a program named Sentry that employs the JPL Sentry system in the event of an asteroid impact. It is a highly automated collision monitoring system developed to identify potential asteroid Earth collision chances. It also keeps and updates a list of asteroids that may collide with the Earth. The worst impacts of several of these impact event collisions were catastrophic extinction events of life on Earth, among other things. There is also a potential for future impact events causing massive natural upheavals such as volcanism, mega tsunamis and big collisions that would cause the Earth's magnetic field to shut down. NASA aims to progress in space exploration, technology, aviation and care for Earth. The organization achieves its goals with the help of an Asteroid Watch dashboard, which monitors asteroids and comets that will pass near Earth. For each encounter, the dashboard indicates the date of the closest approach, the estimated object diameter, relative size and distance from Earth. Hovering over the encounter date reveals the object's name. In addition, the dashboard shows the next five Earth approaches within 4.6 million miles that's 7.5 million kilometers. An object bigger than around 150 meters that may reach Earth within this distance is classified as a potentially dangerous item. The US Space Agency studies faraway asteroids using telescopes and observatories such as NEOWISE. In addition, the Space Agency has installed a new impact monitoring system that employs the Century 2 algorithm to quantify the impact risk of near-Earth objects. NASA's DART spacecraft collided with the asteroid Dimorphos in an historic test of humanity's capacity to prevent a cosmic object from destroying Earth's life. DART's celestial target was an oblong asteroid moonlit roughly 560 feet that's 170 meters in diameter that circles Didymos, a parent asteroid five times bigger, as part of a binary pair named Didymos, the Greek word for twin. The mission was rare in which a NASA spacecraft had to crash to succeed. DART collided with Dimorphos at 15,000 miles per hour, that's 24,000 kilometers per hour, producing the force that scientists think would be enough to push the asteroid's orbit closer to the parent asteroid. According to APL engineers, the spacecraft was blasted to pieces and left a minor impact crater on the asteroid's boulder-strewn surface. DART is the most recent of numerous NASA missions to examine and interact with asteroids. These are primordial stony relics of the solar system's creation around 4.5 billion years ago. So far, the group has worked hard to reach its goals and has kept us informed by documenting its discoveries. They claim to have identified the most significant planet-killing asteroid in eight years and that the massive space rock will pass through Earth's orbit. We are talking of no other than Apophis, an asteroid that made headlines in 2004 as a possible danger to Earth. The asteroid was formally named Apophis in 2005 after the Greek term for an ancient Egyptian depiction of evil. 
According to an article in Astronomy magazine, Apophis was a snake that lived in the shadows and sought to swallow the sun god Ra as he traveled through the sky each night. A cosmic collision created by this asteroid can destroy humanity as we know it. As a result, we must estimate the size of this danger methodically. The near-Earth object is predicted to be around 1,100 feet, that's 340 meters. According to NASA, measurements of Apophis's trajectory during a distant flyby in March 2021 prompted scientists to determine that the asteroid posed no hazard for the next century. Scientists initially wondered if Apophis's journey would culminate in a collision with Earth. For 17 years, the asteroid stood at the top of the European Space Agency's impact danger list, only to be removed in 2021. Even when this danger was eliminated, experts could not rule out the chance that Earth's gravitational influences may alter the asteroid so that one of its subsequent trips would result in a collision. Apophis falls into the category of potentially hazardous asteroids, stated Richard Binzel, a planetary scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The fact that Apophis will make the closest known approach to Earth of any massive asteroid this decade makes it the poster child for possibly dangerous asteroids. Although Apophis will not strike Earth anytime soon, it will have a near encounter with our globe on April 13, 2029, passing within 19,000 miles of our planet, that's 31,000 kilometers. Because Apophis is so massive, its near flyby will be so dazzling that over 2 billion people in the Eastern Hemisphere can see it with their own eyes, according to Binzel at the 2019 International Academy of Astronautics Planetary Defense Conference. That is 10 times closer than the Moon and 10 times closer than the most geosynchronous satellites. Binzel was part of a team that employed reconnaissance telescopic images to assess Apophis's color characteristics and identify its composition in 2005. The researchers discovered that the asteroid resembled the most common kind of meteorite, known as ordinary chondrites, primarily made of stone and silicates. According to NASA, Apophis is an S-type or stony-type asteroid with a metal composition that includes nickel and iron. The asteroid is thought to be elongated and consists of two lobes similar to a rocky space peanut. Apophis is a planetesimal from the early solar system, a planetary building block that never solidified into one of our planets, Binzel said. It has spent 4.6 billion years in the asteroid belt and might be a remnant of a more prominent asteroid that broke away in an asteroid belt collision. That impact may have sent the Apophis piece on a path that has resulted in its current orbit, which is quite near to Earth. When experts estimated how near the asteroid's trajectory would bring the space rock to Earth, their joy turned to fear. What if the tables turn around and this asteroid lands on Earth? Data from 2020 and 2021 observations enabled the CNEOS team to predict how near Apophis would reach the gravitational keyholes correlating to probable Earth impacts in 2036 and 2068. According to Farnakia, the CNEOS team also ruled out any possible influence for the following 100 years. We have done models of an Apophis-scale collision with Earth, but at 340 meters wide, the consequence of an Apophis-scale impact with Earth is quite unknown, said Gareth Collins, a professor at the Imperial College London's Department of Earth Science and Engineering. The key parameters are size and speed, but the target location type is also significant. If the impact happens in water, it might cause dangerous tsunamis. More ejected dust is created on land. The scientists projected that Apophis's orbital period, or the time it needs to circle the Sun, would increase from 0.9 to 1.2 years due to the asteroid's approach to Earth in 2029. More importantly, it is difficult to predict the impact of an Apophis-like asteroid on Earth. There is nothing like it in our planet's geological record. Other impactors have been considerably more giant, such as the dinosaur-killing asteroid that hit Earth 66 million years ago and created the Chicxulub crater, or much smaller. Asteroid size, mass, density, and the velocity and angle at which the asteroid crashes all influence how much damage an asteroid may wreak. 
With the prospect of an impact removed for the time being, researchers can now concentrate on gathering scientific data. With years of preparation ahead of them before Apophis's second flyby in 2029, Apophis researchers are preparing to observe the asteroid's passage. They'll watch from the ground, but with the announcement of a new mission for the asteroid sampling spacecraft OSIRIS-REx, they'll also be able to watch from orbit. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.